Retirement is different for women. We talk about the differences and offer up some solutions to the challenges women face in retirement right now on Retiring Today. retiring today. I'm here with Haley Gutchen Ryder and Anna Marie Morrow. Anna Marie is the Director of Medicare here at Merco Retirement Planning and Haley is a Certified Financial Planner. And it's an all-female cast today because we're talking about women in retirement. This is such an important topic that we have a workshop dedicated just to women in retirement. But today we're going to talk a little bit about that workshop and you're going to want to stay tuned for some details on how to sign up for that. But we know, Anna Marie, that Retirement is different for women. It's just the facts. It is. When we look at all of the factors that go into retiring for women, we can't ignore the wage gap, the difference in Social Security, and all these other factors that play into it, women living longer than men. And I'll tell you what, these women in retirement workshops, it's what we look forward to all year long. It's so exciting. And to just get to know these women and their stories that they've had and the experiences that they've had and how an individualized plan, a customized plan for each of them can really bless and strengthen whatever circumstance they're facing in life. And I know that we feel really empowered to teach this workshop because we're also women and we do face a unique set of challenges because we do have the wage gap and we also tend to be the primary caretakers for our family. So there are some things that may set us behind the eight ball when it comes to planning for retirement, but we don't want to look at those things and think, oh my gosh, I can't have a retirement plan, right? You can retire and you can retire perfectly well. It's just all about your goals and your concerns and your struggles, and we can create a plan that's gonna work for you. And we don't want men to necessarily turn the TV right now or turn it off YouTube or wherever you're watching this at because you might have a woman in your life, right? That could be your spouse, that could be your sister, that could be you know, your, uh, somebody that, that needs this information. And I also think any male watching will get something out of this too because yeah, we're gonna talk about the challenges that women face, but some of these men have to make social security decisions as well. Men have to make Medicare decisions as well. So there's uh, anybody who's getting close to retirement, maybe in retirement can get a lot of good information about what we're going to talk about today. It's so true. And I'm glad you brought that up because a common phone call that I get regarding Medicare is in regards to a man calls in and it's about his mother who his father's passed away, his mother outlived, and she's in a nursing facility or heading into skilled care. And these men are looking out for their women, whether it is a spouse or a sister or a mother. So yeah, absolutely be a part of that conversation. Okay, let's just name a few of the barriers. And, and we know that some of these things, there's not a lot we can do about today right here, but we wanna also say to women, hey, we know what you're going through. We are women, we will someday retire. And we know that a lot of the people watching are getting ready to retire. So we know that women, most likely have less saved up for retirement, Haley, for, for a few different reasons. Yeah, really for a few different reasons. Women tend to be the primary caretakers, right? So if they're taking care of the family or their spouse or their parents, that means they're not working, they're not having an income. So they either have less saved for retirement or they haven't paid as much into Social Security. And those things can typically have an impact over your long-term retirement, but there are certain strategies with Social Security that you can use and it could be available to you, but it's important to, to sit down with the planner and find out, do I have those options? Yeah, also we know that women, again, for a lot of reasons, tend to retire earlier. That's right, and when we think of someone retiring, we think, oh, they're retiring because they have enough money and they wanna go have fun and live out their lifestyle goals. But the case of the matter is, the first person who comes to mind is a, a woman we sat down with recently. She's 58 and a, and a half. Her husband was recently put on social security disability and she was his, provider of care and their children and working a full-time job while being the wow. care t provider just wasn't working for her. She was stressed and scared. So we came together and we sh when we showed her how she could retire, how the components work together to provide her that customized plan, she got emotional. It was a big deal for her. So now she could focus on her family, focus on taking care of her husband who needed getting close to full-time care. And it, it was beautiful to be a part of and help her realize that that was a possibility now. Yeah, that's really powerful. And we do know that women face barriers, but that doesn't mean they're not barriers we can't break down. There doesn't mean we can't walk through them. And I think knowing uh, some of the strategies, Haley, especially when it comes to social security, can help you pinch every single penny possible out of it. Yeah, there's so many strategies when it comes to social security. And in fact, if you're a married couple, there's actually up to 81 different options that you have when electing social security. So even if you're not married, you still have many options. And there's a lot of strategies out there that people don't even know about. And the first person that comes to mind for me is actually my aunt. I helped her do this last year. So my aunt was divorced 
Um, she was a primary caretaker when they were married and she took care of the children and she didn't pay very much into Social Security. So she's working and working and working and she's in her late 60s and she's thinking, I'm never gonna get to retire because my Social Security benefit is low and I, I still have to save and save and save. So I, I'm, I'm talking with her and I'm like, well, how long were you married? She goes, I was married over 10 years. And I was like, really? Yeah. Because you actually have a spousal benefit on your ex-spouse even though you're no longer married. She goes, well, he hasn't taken it yet. And I'm just thinking, it doesn't matter. And women don't know that. It doesn't matter if they haven't yet taken it. And because her benefit was significantly lower than her ex-husband's, she was able to file a spousal benefit, $1,000 extra in her benefit a month that she now receives, even though he still hasn't even elected Social Security. Give her a nice shout out. Look at the camera. Give her a nice shout out <laughs> to your aunt. Yeah. And so you get a good Christmas. You should get a better Christmas present, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm obviously the favorite niece. Of course of you course. are. Of course. Yeah. 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 A thousand extra dollars a month is really powerful. And of course, women, or quite frankly, men, couldn't know all these strategies. There's 81 combinations if you're married. I'm sure if you're single, there's a lot of combinations as well. And also just how does it all fit with all my other investments that I have? And how does it all fit into this comprehensive plan? Of course, women couldn't know that, but that's why the two of you specialize in this kind of stuff and can share share this knowledge. It's true. We meet with so many powerful women, especially that's another reason I love this Women in Retirement Workshop, because we get to connect with these women who have great stories. Right after one of our Women in Retirement Workshops, we met with a woman who was there. And as we were going through our Social Security, all you know, all the 81 options, we do not <laughs> go through all 81 <laughs> options. But what she learned, she was a widow. And she got remarried at 59 and like 11 months, not knowing had she waited another month to get married, she could have collected her widow benefit. Yeah. So then we had, you know, playful conversation about getting divorced and getting the benefit, which <laughs> sure. we don't do. But still, but if like, she had so met much... you, yeah, sorry, not to cut you off, but I was like, if she had talked to you a year or two prior, you could have said, hey, here's a strategy, keep this in mind, if you, or you can do this, and that there could have been some more money for her in exactly. retirement there, yeah. Exactly. The heart of the matter really is know all your options, right? There, Social Security is so complex as it is, but there's spousal benefits, ex-spousal benefits, widow benefits. Know all of your options and then get with the planner so that they can help you determine how can I maximize this income in retirement? Yeah, so there's some real uh, knowledge, some real power in knowledge. So a great way to get more knowledge about the challenges that women face is our Women in Retirement Workshop. This is a complimentary workshop. This is a lot of fun. So it's Haley and Anne-Marie. You can already tell they're a lot of fun to be around. Here's the information. It's on your screen. So they're going to give about an hour-long presentation or so, and then we're going to have some food and, and a chance to talk. But really, they're going to go through what a retirement plan is. They're going to drill down on some real specific strategies and show you some of the decisions that you'll be facing. And also, you'll take away from this workshop some action steps that you can put into play to help live out your retirement vision. But we're not done talking about women in retirement quite yet. We've got a lot more to cover next. Retirement is different for women. From investments and caretaking to increased longevity and health care expenses, women face it all. Join us for a night dedicated exclusively to the financial wants and needs of women at District 36 in Ankeny on April 24th or 27th. You'll enjoy a complimentary gourmet meal and learn why retirement differs for women and what you can do about it. This special workshop is designed for women, taught by women. Register today at retireherway.com. Anytime I have even the smallest question about my accounts or what effect the latest tax law might have on my situation, the Merkle Retirement Planning Team is always there and quick to help. I'm so glad they treat you like, well, like family. I'm so happy to have such an excellent team working for my future and ensuring I do the best to achieve my financial goals. Merkle Retirement Planning, your retirement starts here. This is Retiring Today. I'm here with Haley Gutchen Ryder and Anna Marie Morrow. We're talking about the challenges that women face in retirement, and we cannot overlook the fact that women generally outlive men. We do. We what is, what is the average age difference between men and women outliving? One it's about another? three to four years. Three or four years, yeah. right? Yeah. And that immediately brings to mind long-term care because we are outliving men. And we're outliving the men that we're taking care of. Yep. You know, whether it's a brother, a spouse, or a father. 
we are those care providers. So as you look at this train of events in life, then who is then left to take care of us? So as women, it's a scary and it's a sad and it's an emotional topic, mm -hmm. but we do need to talk about that long-term care. What does it look like when we have outlived our male counterparts, whether it's a spouse or a brother? What does that look like? What does our retirement at that point look like as we're, we're left with, with ourselves, with our friends and, and other women? Yes. Yeah, and that's exactly why we illustrate that. I mean, when we meet with our families to build out this customized retirement plan, long-term care is a huge topic of conversation because women are fearful of one day, you know, being left with nobody else to take care of them. And so women do make up the majority of those long-term care facilities, and we have to illustrate for them what happens if one of you needs long-term care, what happens if you need it for a certain period of time, and how is that going to impact your retirement? You know, you bringing that up, long-term care facilities, it just brought to mind, I have a friend of mine who went to go visit her grandma who was at a long-term care facility, and she came back and she told me she walked in and there were only women there. I mean, men were allowed <laughs> yeah. into this facility, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah, it was her grandmother and they yep. were playing cards with girlfriends. It was all women there. And it made her think, oh, I've never really thought about this before, but yeah, this is where, you know, most women are headed over the age of 65 at some point, maybe. Yeah. Do you know why I think women do outlive men, though? You, you guys want to know? <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I'm so bad. <laughs> okay. I think heaven literally knows that earth needs us more, <laughs> right? Because we do so much. We are the care providers. Uh, we do take care of our families. We do take care of our parents, our spouses, and heaven just knows that they need us more. So that is why we're living longer, women. I am 100%. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that also makes the case for the fact that we do need a plan, right? Because again, whether you enter retirement single, divorced, married, you probably will need a plan by yourself that you can be in charge of. So let's talk about what a retirement plan is, because it is the solution to some of these anxieties, but still it's kind of a unknown, like what does a retirement plan look like? And that's actually just a great question because what is a retirement plan, right? It's so big, it's so broad, and there's so many decisions that can go into retirement. And as you approach the doorsteps of retirement, you're starting to realize that it is way more than just our investments. Most often when I sit down with a family and I ask them, what have you done from a retirement planning standpoint this far? They typically look at me and say, well, I've saved in my 401k, so here's all my savings. But what we know, Anna Marie, is that it's more than just your savings. Yes, the investment component of your plan is important, and it's honestly the engine of your plan, right? It does fuel a lot of other areas, but there is so much more that goes into this retirement plan than just your investments. And our, the, the plan, we'd like to actually start with that lifestyle component, you know? What are your goals in retirement? What do you wanna spend your retirement doing? Is it traveling? Is it playing with your grandchildren? And then that will guide us in the decisions to make within the other components of your plan. Absolutely, we have to start with what do you want your retirement to look like? And then from there, we can start building out the other components of your plan. One thing that we're, we know that we need in retirement is income. How are we going to get paid in retirement? That's right, that's the first question we get. Do I have money, enough money to retire? Oh yes, that's commonly the biggest concern is that they don't know, do I have enough income to last me 20 or 30 years in retirement? And so what we do is we build out an income plan. We look at all of your, your sources of income that you can potentially have. We look at your investments. And then we also identify on a monthly basis, how much do you need to live out your retirement dreams? And through this, we can develop a income plan so that we can effectively maximize you know, what retirement gives us in life. The next component that we often talk about is taxes. Tax planning happens to be my favorite component because what most people don't understand is that taxes are typically one of the biggest you know, risk in retirement. So your tax bill, how much are you going to pay over the course of your retirement? And as women outliving men, that can change your bracket from married, fi married filing to single filing. What does that look like? And what kind of impact does that dictate for your overall plan? Yeah, I can definitely tell you that it's gonna look like you're gonna be paying more in taxes when you do marry or when you do move to those single brackets. But importantly is most retirees up to this point have saved and saved and saved in pre or in tax deferred vehicles, right? So they've never paid taxes on this money before. And now they've come to a point where they have to start taking distributions for income and they're gonna owe taxes on this. So how can we effectively mitigate that tax bill so that you can keep more of those hard earned dollars in your pocket versus giving it over to the IRS? 
And then we have, do we have investments? <laughs> and then the, yep, investments are still a big still component a of our of overall it. plan. Um, but we also know that some of these decisions here are gonna drive you know, what we do with our investments. And in retirement, your investment plan should look different than when you were 20 and 30 years old. Absolutely, there's a paradigm shift that needs to take place. When you go from those accumulation years into now, what do I get to keep? What do I need as far as distributions go? What strategies can we implement within that? Yeah, and it's, it's definitely important that you also understand how much risk you're taking within your investment plan, right? Because we do not want to incur another 2008 where you potentially lose 30% of your portfolio and then you're faced with the decision of having to come out of retirement. We want retirement to be a one-time decision and we want you to get it right. Exactly, and what's fun to see is, you know, when we've talked about your goals in retirement and we've looked at the income planning, the tax planning, investment planning, this actually leads into healthcare. We can then tell you, okay, this is what you can anticipate to pay, whether it's for your Part B premium, because that is based on income, and it can guide us into knowing what supplement fits your lifestyle, but then what if you don't want to wait until age 65? We meet with women all the time who want or need to retire before then. What do your healthcare premiums look like? And those are all a part of what this planning looks like together. And then that guides us into that legacy plan. Yeah, and your legacy plan should be basically spell out how do you want all of your assets, all of your savings to go down to your beneficiaries in the most effective and efficient way possible. And that's what we help spell out for people so that when they go, they know that their loved ones are taken care of. And, and within that, <laughs> we have the Merkel plan. That's the Merkel plan. It, it takes all of these six components working in conjunction with each other to deliver you the best retirement vision that you can dream of. Exactly, there's no siloed decisions having this customized plan. And I think, you know, we actually know that anxiety and fear is a big part that holds women back, that holds them from taking the reins. You know, we talked with a woman after the Woman in Retirement Workshop whose husband had passed away and she was scared to move her accounts because her husband said, keep it here. Mm -hmm. And of course he had her best interests at heart, but what are her options? How should, her life is looking different now that he's not a part of it. And fear was a big driver behind that. Yeah, and I think that is a great point because a retirement plan is not a one-time transaction. You know, whatever you plan for 10, 15 years ago, it probably isn't the right plan for right now. A, a retirement plan should be a very fluid plan. It's an ongoing plan, and it's there to, to be there for when life throws you curveballs, right? We can make adjustments. So it is there to be managed throughout your entire retirement lifespan, and it's going to change from time to time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also know retirement laws change. I mean, life can throw you curveballs, but they, they make laws in, in yeah. Washington, D.C. that yes. change the age you have to take money out of your accounts, change the tax brackets, yes. mm -hmm. change Medicare mm -hmm. uh, formulas. So what you set up, even though maybe your spouse would pass, they didn't, they didn't know what was going to change for you. So you'd like to think they'd want you to change with the changes that can happen in retirement. So you want to learn more about this because there is a lot more the, to putting together a retirement plan. It's our Women in Retirement Workshop, and it is a great opportunity for you to sit down, not only listen to a little bit about the challenges that women face, but also the solutions, because there are a lot of great solutions for living out your retirement vision. On your screen right now is a website. There's some times, there's some dates. You go to that uh, link that you're seeing there, you're gonna get all the information you need to attend our complimentary Women in Retirement Workshop. We've got more to talk about next. Retirement is different for women. From investments and caretaking to increased longevity and health care expenses, women face it all. Join us for a night dedicated exclusively to the financial wants and needs of women at District 36 in Ankeny on April 24th or 27th. You'll enjoy a complimentary gourmet meal and learn why retirement differs for women and what you can do about it. This special workshop is designed for women, taught by women. Register today at retireherway.com. The Merkel Retirement Planning Team provides personable and professional expertise unrivaled in this area. They include us in every step of the planning process. The peace of mind provided to us by the Merkel Team allows us to fully enjoy this special time of our lives. Instead of feeling snake bit, we feel confident that with the Merkel Retirement Planning Team at our sides, we can navigate any challenge that comes our way. Merkel Retirement Planning. Your retirement starts here.
This is Retiring Today. I'm here with Haley Gutschneider and Anna Marie Morrow. And you guys did a good job of outlining for me what a plan looks like. But I also think one really important feature of a plan is when you have a retirement plan, and you've seen it, because you guys deliver these plans to people. You get the joy of saying, here's your retirement plan. That confidence, the fear goes away, the smiles light up, and all the a lot of the unknowns have been answered for them. That's the biggest win for me, and I know for you too, Haley, just seeing that emotion and fear just kind of wash away over their shoulders. That That's what makes it so rewarding for us is, is they know that they don't have to enter this alone. They have a physical retirement plan they can look to, they can always call us. And you know, I, their, their retirement plan is updating all the time, every day, whether it's the markets or new legislation or yep. life-changing events. You know, They have this piece to fall back on to give them this confidence moving forward. Yeah, and you can see that they're not as afraid of the future, right? The future has a lot of those unknowns, those uncertainties, whether it is legislative risk or whether it is that a spouse passes away or you need long-term care, a plan's gonna illustrate what do we do in that type of event. Yeah, let's go back to taxes because you touched on it there. And I think that to me feels like sort of this mysterious thing that people okay. don't realize can really put a lot more spendable income kind of, you know, uh, into their retirement. So uh, you talk about sort of the taxes you pay as a, a married couple filing jointly versus the taxes you would pay if you become single in retirement. Yeah, and they really call for singles, they call that the single filer penalty, even though it's not a penalty. But what they're alluding to is the fact that it takes half of the income to fill up the same tax bracket. So for example, if you're married filing jointly, then it takes about $82,000 of taxable income to fill up the 12% tax bracket. If you're a single, that's cut in half. So it only takes 41,000 to fill up the 12% tax bracket. So when your spouse passes away, your income doesn't necessarily just cut in half because you still have some of those similar expenses that you were once spending when both of you were alive. One of those expenses is a mortgage, right? Just because your spouse passes away doesn't mean that your mortgage gets decreased in half. So you still need the same amount of income or a similar amount of income, but now you're getting taxed much more heavily on it. Yeah, your needs don't necessarily fall in half or go in half or, mm -hmm. or cut in half. You were once spending when both of you were. The amount of income that you have to take doesn't go in half. If you're taking Social Security, you're still taking it when your spouse passes. There's a pension. You might still be receiving that pension, so you're still going to have a lot of taxable income sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You're, I mean, it's, it's kind of ludicrous to think that your income just cuts in half because you have now one less spouse and therefore you need, you know, half the things that you once did when both of you are alive. The truth is, is that for most people, they still need a similar amount of income. I was working with a, with a person recently where her husband passed away and it was totally unexpected but she still needed the same amount of monthly income that she was once getting, because honestly, he was pretty young. They still have a mortgage. Um, she has a pension, and now she's taxed almost double on it than what she was when they were both alive. And that just makes me think of, you know, Irma as a part of Part B. It's that same tax bracket. It's double the or half the income in the single filing versus marriage. So now you could also be stuck with a larger Medicare Part B yep. bill a couple of years down the road because they do that two-year look back. So this is all a part of building that into the plan, knowing what to anticipate when a life change happens. Well, and I think, you know, ultimately we know that if you're, if you're both the spouses are still alive, these are opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. We have an opportunity to mitigate that tax bill so that when your spouse does pass away, hopefully they're not going to be put in a predicament where they are being taxed more on income. Yeah, and it's also an opportunity if you're single, too. There's stuff you can do right now to pay less taxes in retirement and have more spendable spendable income as you move to into retirement. Yep, same with you're single. So it's just so important that we that we get together, that we look at our, our tax plan, because what we do is, is we look at the tax plan over all of retirement, and we show them this is what it looks like. This is how much you are estimated to pay in taxes if you do nothing. Now let's talk about the strategies that we can implement to mitigate that tax bill, and okay. that's what the retirement plan shows us. And sometimes getting started is the hard part, right? There's, a, I, I've got some things like this in my life. I really know I need to do that. I know it's important, but I just haven't taken that first step yet. And it's yet. so much. <laughs> yeah. Like we talk about all of these components and a lot of people, I mean, not trying to call myself out here, but if you <laughs> give me a task of a hundred things I have to do, I'm not gonna do any of them. Yeah, it feels right? overwhelming. Yeah, so when we go through these components, if, you, if you're watching that and you're like, oh my goodness, this is too much, I don't know, you say the word taxes, I don't know what goes into that, I don't know what healthcare options are, I don't know anything about investments, that's okay. That's what we are here for. That is what retirement planners 
do and that and, and take advantage of the opportunity. I love that you call it an opportunity mm -hmm. because it's an opportunity not just to put this plan together and find out options, but it's an opportunity to eliminate that fear and take just one step forward and find out what is out there and what kind of help is available to me. Here's a great opportunity. It's our Women in Retirement Workshop. This is a great place to start. If, if you are not quite sure, this is a really fun environment. So what's gonna happen here is the information's on your screen. Here's a website. You can go there, choose a time and a date for our Women in Retirement Workshop. Haley and Anne Marie, they're gonna talk for about an hour about uh, the differences that women face in retirement. They're gonna even give you some strategies, some action steps that you can take away from this Women in Retirement Workshop. And they're gonna eat and have a good time. And it's a really good way to start thinking about all these decisions that are coming but also again I think that you'll go to this and just really feel empowered like yeah okay we know we face some bar barriers as women but that doesn't mean we can't have the retirement we deserve mm -hmm. and traditionally women have taken a back seat when it comes to their finances right traditionally we've seen men be the leader of all the financial decisions but the truth is is that if we live longer that means that at one day we will solely become responsible for our finances so feel empowered now to go and, and find out what your retirement plan looks like and have a planner help you, guide you through those decisions so that you can eliminate the fear when your loved one does pass away or when you do have to take control of your finances. Who's a good candidate to come to this workshop? Single, married, widowed. Yeah. If you are a woman watching this or if you're a man watching this and know that this could help an important woman in your life, this is for you. If you've heard a story here that resonates with you that you can relate to, great come if not if none of this relates to you but you just want more information or you have some questions take advantage of it as well yeah. and what will they walk away with Haley they're gonna walk away with a sense of confidence because that's ultimately what the retirement plan provides is it eliminates the fear of the what ifs that could happen in retirement and they're gonna walk away with a sense of confidence and empowerment that they can do this even if they're alone yeah and I think a better understanding of what's ahead again if you haven't retired before which we generally just do one time you don't necessarily know all of the things that are coming how can I maybe pay less in my Medicare premiums well there's actually stuff you can do to maybe lower that taxable income and pay less in Medicare that's right it's all about wow. action steps <laughs> yeah. right and we guide you toward those action steps and that first action step is get involved come to the workshop find out what the next action step is and it's a lot of fun Oh, so much fun. It's so this much is fun. my favorite, and I know it's your, we talk about yeah. this all the time. When is the next workshop? These yep. are our favorite ones to participate in, for sure. Yeah. That is a great action step. Okay, so the website is on your screen one more time. Another action step, keep watching this show. It's Retiring Today, and we thank you for watching. Retirement is different for women. From investments and caretaking to increased longevity and health care expenses, women face it all. Join us for a night dedicated exclusively to the financial wants and needs of women at District 36 in Ankeny on April 24th or 27th. You'll enjoy a complimentary gourmet meal and learn why retirement differs for women and what you can do about it. This special workshop is designed for women, taught by women. Register today at retireherway.com.